Our next caller is Billy from Utah. Hey, what's up, Billy? How can we help you? Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, thank you for uh, taking some time to answer my question. This is awesome to be talking to you. Um, a little background. I have been lifting pretty consistently for about two and a half to three years. Um, have spent a lot of that time in kind of a strength phase. So heavy lifting, low reps, um, a lot of linear periodization kind of progress, pr progressing that way. Um, what I've noticed recently, probably over the past three to four months is a, I've been a little bit burnt out on a specific lift and it's been the deadlift um, to the point where when it shows up in my programming, I, I, I kind of really hesitate to, to go to the gym and get a, get a little bit, um, you know, it's a little bit harder to get to the gym just because that's showing up in my programming, which is interesting because it was one of my favorite lifts before, um, one that I made a lot of progress on, but for some reason I've just felt burned out on it recently. So my question is, is, is this something you guys have seen before um, on specific lifts, kind of getting burned out on it? And if so, what could I do in the meantime if I need to take a break from it to not lose the strength and the and the progress on that lift? Yeah, I, I, I love this question yeah. because I don't think we've had someone actually ask specifically something like this. Yep. But this is uh, this, this has to happen a lot. That's right, and this is a perfect example of why you know that's why there's no perfect program for anybody. That's why there's always an exception to the rule. That's why there's there's more to it than just this is the best exercise that burns the most body fat and builds the most muscle because if my client uh, is just hates doing something and it will even discourage them potentially from going to the gym that day or they just skip an exercise altogether, that's part of my job as a coach to insert something else in there that they enjoy doing that I know has – tons of benefits. Yeah. Or, or taking it out, but it really depends on what you mean by burning out mm -hmm. on the exercise. That, that'll determine the answer that I'm going to give you. So what do you mean exactly? Is it that it's hurting you, that you're noticing that it's uh, your, your, your progress is stalled or going backwards? It doesn't feel good. Like, what do you mean by, yeah. by burnout? Do you have more stress like in your life and things kind of going into this? Cause that's a very demanding lift. Um, so yeah. So, so, so a couple of things on that. No, it, it isn't hurting me. Um, I haven't been injured by it. Um, it's more of a mental block than it is, um, you know, going in and, and not being able to perform the lift or anything like that. So it's more of a, you know, just don't feel like lifting a big heavy bar off the ground uh, when I when I get in there. Um, regarding stress in my life, Justin, yeah, I've, I mean, we've we had a we had another kid about a year ago. Um, started a new job in, in March, had a couple of other stressful things. So I guess the last year, the last, you know, 10 to 11 months have been an increase in stress. So that certainly could be adding to it. Yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. like it. So, yeah. um, okay. What program are you following right now? Um, I haven't been consistent on a single program for a little while. Um, I had been following uh, Bigger, Leaner, Stronger by Mike Matthews for a little while. Oh, there's your I mistake right there. there. That's the problem. That's just it, right? Just, <laughs> <laughs> the guy writes good books. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's that's no, <laughs> yeah, no yeah. okay. So you, you were following that, and then and then what do you are, are you currently doing that, or did you modify it a little bit? No, I've I've modified it a little bit. My consistency has not been as great recently. I've still been going three to four days a week into the gym. Um, I recently just restarted anabolic because I felt like maybe if I take a step back on volume and yeah. um, and run through that again, that might help break through it a little bit. But that's kind of where I've I, I've restarted anabolic most recently. Yeah, good. No, that's that's perfect. Okay. So, and by the way, do you mind if I go into a little detail because you actually wrote us out your question with more detail? Yeah, so, okay, absolutely. So you have another kid. This is kid number seven. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah. This is beyond this is, minivan. Yeah. Dude. yeah, bro. That's you need a full blown bus. Yeah. Yeah. God bless yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. God bless you, by the way. And, yeah. and, and you just became that's great, dude. You just became a CEO of a of a company? Yeah. So in March, um, yeah, the new job was was a CEO of a company that some investors yeah. bought out. So two of probably yeah. the most stressful things that Pinnacle you can think of. stress. Yeah. So okay, so what you're feeling right now is that your stress bucket is overflowing and exercise is a stress on the body. So, mm -hmm. and that's why it gets your body to get stronger. And, and deadlifting is probably one of the biggest. It is. And, and if you, if your stress bucket is overflowing, the workouts are now no longer helping you, but rather hurting you. MAPS anabolic, two foundational workouts a week, I think is where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Don't do three, do two. Now you're going to the gym. 
three or four days a week. I also read in your question that this is a good me time for you. I get that. So it's yeah. not just going yeah. to the gym to work out, but rather center, be present, kind of get away from things. Walk, mobility. Yeah, dude. Go. Okay, so two mm. days a week, two foundational workouts for MAPS Anabolic. The other days you go to the gym, mobility, stretching, walking, like do things that kind of rejuvenate your body and make you feel good. And what you'll see is your body will actually start progressing again. Now, mm. back to your specific question about deadlifts, unilateral deadlifts, yep. single leg deadlifts. I, I mean, suggest. you're still doing that movement, but it's one leg, it's way lighter, it's with dumbbells, and it will, if anything, not just maintain your strength in the deadlift, but might actually improve it or increase it. This is one of my favorite strategies because there may be an underlying thing there too in terms of like an instability uh, that needs to be addressed, which then, you know, will actually promote you to be motivated to, uh, you know, go back to, to the deadlift and see what kind of load you can, you can, you can put up. But uh, a lot of times it, it takes that sort of uh, uh, zooming in and, and really like staying in there to see like, you know, the discrepancies between left to right uh, and, and addressing those will really help the overall strength. I, I also want to give you the option to do something completely fucking different. You know, if you're following a bulk of ma maps and a bulk and the only thing that we're changing out is a deadlift. Listen, I haven't deadlifted in over six months. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's not the end of the world if we don't do a deadlift variation right now. I mean, this is a perfect example of sometimes this is where I'll get on a kick and I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to get strong doing the Turkish get up. I haven't been, I haven't really focused on getting good at my Turkish get up in a while. And I know that's not in my maps anabolic program, but every time the deadlift comes around, that's what I'm going to do instead. So don't, don't feel like you, and this is why our programs are moldable. This is why we have the podcast this is why we have the forum to kind of do things like this. If you, if there's an, the, an exercise or a movement that interests you or that you know makes you feel better or mm -hmm. you know that you you have a lot of room to get better at like insert yeah. it in there right there i mean i just I, I just this is the area where, yes the deadlift was programmed in there and it was a brilliant written program by us and that's the most ideal thing for pro progression for you to put in there but that's where this is there's a lot of room to to play with that because sometimes that shit doesn't you getting an extra quarter of a pound of muscle over the next month versus de-stressing right. and having better balance and being a better CEO that trumps that yeah me. well you're not going to gain that quarter pound of muscle if your stress is that's right overflowing. that's right it's that's just, it's not, it's not going to happen are you um, are you taking any supplements right now I am. I'm taking a, I, I take creatine, I take a fish oil and I take a multi. Okay. Um, I, I, and vitamin D. So, so. Look, look into ashwagandha. Okay. It's <laughs> probably one of the most well-documented herbs to help the body deal with, to deal with stress. Okay. So, and, and what it does essentially is it literally, it's a very powerful adaptogen and it allows the body to deal with stress and adapt to stress a little bit better. Uh, I personally use it, you know, I'd say every two or three months I'll throw it in or when I feel like I'm not getting good sleep or, you know, I'm, I'm much more challenged with stress. And I do notice an improvement in, in how I feel and how my body reacts. So you can read up on it, check it out. Examine.com is a great website for looking up supplements. Uh, but okay. aside from that, you, you know, what we're saying with the workout is I think where you need to go and don't be surprised if you start to progress again, but also consider this, this is the most important thing. Your workouts should be to improve the quality of your life, not necessarily to improve your quality of your workouts. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes it's to improve your workout performance, but what's more important is, I mean, you're not a professional, you know, lifter, right? You're a CEO, you're a dad with seven kids. Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume that your priorities in life are probably not to be the biggest beast in the gym, but rather to be an amazing dad and a great CEO. Just be stronger than your kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so use the workouts to make you better at those things. So sometimes that means, like Adam said, you go to the gym, like, man, I feel like doing something totally different because that's what's going to make me feel better. And if you do that, believe it or not, in the long term, you'll progress because you're going to make better choices and decisions for yourself. Great. Great. That's great advice. Thank you. Uh, I think, um, yeah, some of that stress relief kind of focus might be might be what's needed right now in the near term. So um, we'll give it a shot. All right, Billy. 100%. Thank you very much. And uh, are, are we going to go up to 10, 11? How many kids you want? <laughs> yeah. Cutting this off. Yeah. Whole, whole I, 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 think, I think seven has, uh, has overfilled the cup, as you guys say. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're a champion, man. All right, All right man. Thanks for calling okay. in. Yeah, thank you.
Bro, wait, talk about uh, like it makes you feel weak. Seven kids, CEO. Dude, dude I'm oh stressed my. out. <laughs> and hey, and he works that. out consistently. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a that's a tough one because uh, I think we forget right that because we know where we were before. So we think, ah, oh, you know, two days a week, that's too little for me. Mm-hmm. It matches your lifestyle. And, and sometimes that's totally appropriate. And ba- I've done this where I'll back off and voila, my body progresses. And I go, oh, this is a lesson I have to keep learning. Well, I think what you said that is even more important is it's not always about progressing in the gym. Yeah. I know that's what our business is surrounded around. I know that's what makes our program so amazing is all that stuff. But at the end of the day, you, you, you hit it right on the head. This guy is a, a father of seven and a CEO his number one priority isn't I got to show that I can get my bench press up to 315. No. Like yeah. who gives a shit? I know he he obviously doesn't care that much about that, but we always get this in our head all the time that you got to be seeing all this great results. You have to be the best yeah. at everything. Yeah. yeah. Just keep them healthy, you know, sharp and strong. I yeah. mean, those are like very like realistic things to focus on. And I and I totally relate to this right now being a, a newer father, the three of us that that's where my priority is. And then and then actually performing in this job. I mean, I've got a lot of responsibility when it comes to our business and a lot of things on my plate. And if I'm so focused on my workouts that it's taking time away from those things, then, uh, and so my workouts are completely modified right now. It's to stay healthy and to be able to perform at those things. That's where my priority. Now, go back two and a half years from now, it's was chasing Sal on the deadlift or getting ready for a stage. Well, that's a different story, you know, and yeah. eliminating a deadlift at that time when my goals are so focused on that is something that I probably don't want to do. But in a case like this, like, who cares? Well, I mean, even that sense, like, it, it, it's always amazing, like, how little you can do to keep moving the needle forward. Totally. You know? And right. I think that's the message that we're always trying to kind of uh, drill into people because it's it, it really is less as long as it's, like, very structured and, and you're smart about it and, and you listen to your body. You're yeah. going to get a lot of results. Yeah, and the irony is this, right? The right dose... I know, he'll probably progress. Yeah, the, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Here's yeah. the irony. The right dose will get you there the more than that is too much and less than that is too little and won't get you there right so it's the right dose so here's the irony you train the way that we're talking yeah. and over time you make more you get better gains and better results anyway right you know so it's not even like you're trading one for the other if you want to progress you still have to do it this way